Hi everyone, my name is Megan and today we're going to be doing the Unpopular Opinions book tag. So I think this tag is super old and I'm pretty sure everybody who's anybody has done this tag before, so I'm going to do it as well. I figure why not kick things off on this channel just being honest about some things, even if they might be unpopular opinions. Obviously, I'm not trying to say there's anything wrong with liking any of the things I'm going to talk about in this video. These are just my opinions. Now that I've got that out of the way, let's just get on with it with question number one. The first question is, what is a popular book or series that you did not like? I actually kind of have multiple answers to this question. Of course I do. The first one I want to talk about is To All the Boys I Loved Before by Jenny Han. This is a hugely popular book and the movie on Netflix is maybe even more popular. And I read the first book and watched the movie and I really didn't care for either one of them. I know that this type of book is not something that I normally love, but I found this book really irritating. I really did not like Lara Jean, the main character. I found her to be, I don't know, she was just extremely frustrating to me. Um, a lot of the characters were, and I didn't really care for any of the romances, so that's one. This one's kind of a little bit older of an example, but The Chaos Walking Trilogy by Patrick Ness. This book was all over the place, all over booktube, like five plus years ago. I know people still read it. It's still a pretty popular series. I can't really pinpoint what it is about this trilogy that didn't work for me. I think it just didn't work for me on multiple levels. I didn't connect with any of the characters except for Manchi. And I also just found it to be pretty dull and boring and I just didn't really care by the end. So that's one that I think a lot of people really like and I didn't really care for. And the last one I want to talk about is probably the most controversial and that is The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky. To be fair, I feel kind of bad talking about this one because I haven't read it since I was in high school and I probably should give it another chance and I probably will at some point. I just remember really disliking this book and having conversations about this book with friends who loved this book and I just have not been convinced of the love quite yet. I know this particular movie to book adaptation is pretty well reviewed and a lot of people actually like the movie more than the book so maybe I'll give the movie a try but yes that is definitely a popular book that I am not a fan of. The second question is what is a book or series that you love that a lot of people seem to hate? This one was a little difficult for me to come up with answers but I've come up with two answers for this one. The first one and I feel like I'm really taking a risk by even talking about this but the first one that I want to talk about is Twilight by Stephanie Meyer. I like to consider myself to be a pretty well-read person so obviously I can acknowledge that the Twilight series is not great, but I love it so much in spite of that and because of that. This book is wrapped up in a whole lot of nostalgia for me and I feel like it really got me into reading more in high school. I've always been a reader, but I feel like picking up Twilight really ignited something even bigger in me and I became an even bigger reader after reading Twilight because I loved it so much. So I feel like I have to talk about it. Even though I can fully admit that Twilight is trash, and it's my trash. So I also wanted to pick something that is a book I would actually recommend to a lot of people. This might not be the most widely read book, but almost everyone I know who has read this book has really hated it, and I liked it quite a bit, but that book is Luckiest Girl Alive by Jessica Knoll. This book is about a really rich and well-to-do woman named Ani who went to this super prestigious school in high school, and there's something really mysterious about her past. This whole story really just leads up to finding out about her past. I think a lot of the reason why people don't like this one is because Ani is unbearable, but that's kind of part of her charm and part of her character. She's supposed to be that way, so I liked reading it. I will also say I actually read this one as an audiobook, so I'm not sure if maybe the audiobook conveys some things a little bit better than just through text. I wouldn't let the low ratings put you off from reading this one if you're interested in it. I thought it was really enjoyable. It's not a favorite of mine by any means, but I think it's a really solid suspense. Question number three is a love triangle where the main character ended up with the person you didn't want them to or an OTP that you don't like. I don't even want to get into this that much because I'm so solidified in this opinion and I think a lot of people are solidified in their opinions on this love triangle, but I'm just going to come out and say it. The Hunger Games. 
what the heck. Obviously, if you haven't read or seen The Hunger Games yet, I don't know what you've been doing for the past 10 years, but I'm going to talk about spoilers. The Hunger Games series is a very sensitive topic for me. I read the first two books when they first came out and I was obsessed with them. I loved them so much. And when the third book came out, I hated it so much that it kind of ruined the entire trilogy for me, which was devastating. Since page one of reading this book, it's all been about Gail for me. I don't understand, I just don't understand how it could be any other way. And not only did Katniss not pick Gail in the end, I think I could have been okay with that. I'm not surprised she ended up with Peeta, I'm just disappointed. But the main problem is, I feel like Gail was treated so horribly in Mockingjay and got such a horrible ending and he did not deserve that. So I am here to start the campaign, hashtag justice for Gail Hawthorne. It is time. Question number four is what is a popular genre that you hardly reach for? I would say romance is one that I don't reach for a ton. I can read a cute little rom-com every now and then, but romance is not really my thing. Another genre I don't really read that much is historical fiction. I've never really been a super big history person. Like obviously there are points in history that I find incredibly interesting and I wanna learn more about. In general, don't pick up a lot of historical fiction unless it gets particularly good reviews or it sounds interesting. Like I said in my booktube newbie tag, I read a little bit of everything. So there's not one genre that I'm not gonna reach for but those are two that I tend to not reach for as much as others. Number five is what is a popular or beloved character that you do not like? I keep wanting to start off all my answers with, this is gonna be an unpopular opinion, but anyway, I don't like Ron Weasley. I think that there are so many different times in the series where he is so petty and such a horrible friend and I just, have no patience for Ronald Weasley and Hermione deserves better. Honestly, about a year ago, I probably would have answered this question with Daenerys Targaryen from the A Song of Ice and Fire series slash Game of Thrones because I have never liked Daenerys. I have always found her to be incredibly entitled and insufferable. Anyway, I feel like that's not really a good answer for this tag anymore because I think a lot of people would probably agree with me now. Question six is what is a popular author that you can't get into? Like I said a couple answers ago, I don't read a ton of romance, but I do pick up rom-coms every now and then. One rom-com author I feel like that is recommended a lot, especially to people who don't necessarily love romance, is Christina Lauren, who is actually a team of authors. Anyway, I've read two of Christina Lauren's books. I read Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating and The Unhoneymoon. I feel like these are two of their books that get talked about a lot and get a lot of high ratings, but I just didn't really see anything special in either one of these. I definitely need emphasis on the calm in the rom-com, and I just think that maybe I don't necessarily connect with their humor style. So I just don't think that Christina Lauren's books are for me. Question number seven is what is a popular book trope that you are sick of seeing? I would say the one that bothers me the most is insta-love for sure. Obviously I understand that some romances need to kind of pick up a little quickly to get on with the story. I get that and I think that it can often be written in a really great believable and steady way but I cannot stand books where all of a sudden they just love each other out of nowhere. I think the most recent time that this trope has particularly angered me was when I read Serpent and Dove by Shelby Mahurin. If you wanna hear some detailed thoughts about this one, I talked about it in my January wrap up, but the insta-love in this was just one page they hated each other and the next they were soulmates and would do anything for each other. And that's just not how life works. That's just not believable. If there is a lot of really apparent instant love in a book, it drags the entire book down for me. And I think that's one of the big problems with Serpent and Dove for me. So yeah, I'm over instant love. Question number eight is what is a popular book series that you have no interest in reading? I have two answers for this one as well. I feel like I have two answers for every question, but oh well. The first series is Cinder by Marissa Meyer. I can't tell you how many people have recommended this book. I can't tell you how many people I know who love this series so much, but it is just not for me at all. I don't know a ton about the particulars of the summary of these books, but I know that they are fairy tale retellings with cyborgs, and those are two things that I could not care less about. So I am definitely not interested in reading this series. 
The other series I'm really not interested in is Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. There are several reasons why I'm not interested in this book. I know it's historical fiction, which as I said earlier, is not really my thing. It just doesn't really sound interesting to me at all. And there are so many books in the series and they're all so long, so I am definitely not committing to something I'm not interested in at all. But I know a lot of people really love this series and the TV series, but I just think it is not for me. And the last question is, what movie or TV show adaptation do you prefer more than the book? For this one, I chose the first season of Big Little Lies. I read Big Little Lies by Leanne Moriarty a couple of years ago, and I enjoyed it enough, but I didn't love it but I did love the first season of Big Little Lies on HBO. The second season was eh, but the first season was incredible. The acting is amazing. But honestly, I think the biggest thing that the HBO series has over the book is Laura Dern as Renata Klein. Laura Dern is queen. All right, everyone, that is it. Those are the questions in the unpopular opinion book tag. Feel free to agree with me in the comments below or tell me why I'm wrong. I'm, I'm ready for it. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you are interested in keeping up with my videos, you can subscribe down below. I post videos every single Tuesday and Friday. If you're interested in following me on the internet in the interim, you can follow me on my Goodreads, which is linked down below. You can also follow me on Instagram, which is at MeganLikesBooks, and Twitter, which is at MegLikesBooks. Thanks again so much, guys. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.